Okay, so the problem was kind of like a, a curiosity of like not knowing how conspiracists spread their conspiracies. So it was always been a mystery to me, like how people just knew about it. So my research question was, how do conspiracists spread conspiracies to people with mistrust? And that's important, mistrust, because uh, when I was, you know, reading my um, secondary sources, I read about conspiracist ideation. And these are basically traits that uh, certain people have that allow them to, um, that are, that allow them to be more inclined to believe in conspiracy theories, right? And one of them was paranoia, so that's related to mistrust. And obviously, I wasn't going to... I wasn't going to find a bunch of people with paranoia, so, so something that's like linked with paranoia is mistrust. I also found fuck, I also found out that labeling something a conspiracy theory does not reduce the belief in it, okay? So this could apply to just ideas that people had, you know? Um, the problem was that the sources didn't answer my question. They talked about conspiracy ideation, conspiracist ideation, but um, they didn't really talk about like why. Why did these traits lead people to believe? So obviously I couldn't test all these traits. So, so I chose one and that was paranoia. But like I said, I couldn't find out like a whole bunch of people with paranoias. So I basically just gathered people and, and I put them through a scale, a paranoia test scale. And obviously most of them didn't pass, but I chose the closest ones that were closer to having paranoia. O only one person had paranoia though, so that's why a research question says mistrust and not paranoia. So anyways, uh, my findings were that some of my findings could be applied to the general public. Um, you know, I, I found that social media, like videos, is a big factor, you know. Um, and I also found that short and simple, you don't have to put a lot of information because people get bored. So I decided to create a, a, a DVD aimed aim for people that want to spread their ideas, um, you know, like, like reformers that want to change. Um, so I basically motivated them. I told them about how important these platforms are, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and I gave them links to websites and encouraged them to take action. So links like Wix.com to make their website and then they can put it in, in their bio on Instagram and people can click. and. And, and, and just to get people on their side to create a movement, right? Um, I chose to dress professional and I had like a nice background. This is like the exact thing I had in my video. Um, you know, because I'm talking to people who are professional, right? And then one thing that I learned was that you really had to plan it out to get your message across. And it, it kind of feels good that at the end you might have been able to help a lot, like some people. And if, if you're really good, like a lot of people. And Hi there. My name is Sergio Sanchez, and today I'm going to help you. I get it. You have this great idea, but you just don't know how to get people in your corner, how to spread it. So today, I'm going to teach you how to do that. I can bombard you with a whole bunch of information, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it real short and simple, so tag along.